Greater Manchester is growing, however, there's still a number of challenges. Uh, economic success isn't spread into all areas and there's still a, a rather large number of pockets of deprivation across the region. Uh, we know, for instance, that almost a third of people don't have access to a car and so rely on public transport and other modes. Uh, additionally, we face major challenges with physical inactivity. Uh, again, almost a third of adults in Greater Manchester don't achieve the weekly recommended level of activity activity and this places a large burden on the NHS. Our aim for walking and cycling is to make it the natural choice for short trips through improving connectivity in local uh, neighbourhoods and also key centres. Uh, we see that this is important because walking and cycling as well as improving the local economy through improving access to jobs and education and services, it also plays a really important part in reducing uh, emissions and therefore improving air quality. In the short term we're working towards this with a coordinated programme looking at cycle infrastructure and facilities so that would mean development of the key cycling network uh, as well as improving cycle parking and other facilities at businesses and key trip generators. As part of this we also have a, a package of measures to sit alongside this which involves promotion, uh, offering advice to people about how they might change their journeys, uh, providing information to them, providing training for instance, cycle training and just generally uh, supporting people to make the switch from the car to walking and cycling. Uh, we're really keen that as many people do get involved, uh, there's a public consultation running on the 2040 strategy at the moment. Uh, to find out more and to share your views, if you go to tfgm.com slash 2040 and just leave your responses there, you've got until the 26th of September to do so and we look forward to hearing from you.